We'll form a content should be pretty. Good. This next All right, let's go ahead this. and get started again. Do you need me to read? Or, or is Ted going to take the honors for us? Ted, do you want to read? Or do you want Jason to read? I can read, Ted, if no, you wish, okay. if your voice needs a break. B, form and content. All papers and petitions shall be uniform in size and style and shall be assembled as one instrument for filing. Each signature shall be executed in ink or indelible pencil and shall be followed by the address of the person signing. Initiative and referendum petitions shall contain or have attached thereto throughout their circulation the full text of the ordinance proposed or sought to be reconsidered. A recall petition shall state the name and title of office of the elected official sought to be recalled and a general statement of the reason or reasons for the recall on top and bottom of all pages of the petition. No petition shall seek the recall of more than one officer, but several petitions for recall may be separately submitted at the same election on the same ballot. For several Proposition. propositions. What did I say? Petitions. Oh, proposition. I'm sorry. It says but proposition. I thought recall could only have one person and you're only Right, and it says that. It says that, yeah, but the, yeah, it's, it's but just, you could have just several that there's different. Several, you could have several different yeah, recall measures. You could have one for each. You could have them separate, but they would yeah. be on the same ballot. I can't have one that says oh, okay. I want you know both aldermen in Ward Three to be recalled. Right. I can't. I have that two person. separate ballots. Right, right. but yeah. they can all appear on the April. Sure. Thing. Yeah. Right. But they have to be separate. Right. I make a motion to approve. I second. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Sandy got that. That's you, Sandy. What's the number on this? I don't want to talk uh, to 10.3B. I'm not liking it. Motion everything. Any other discussion? We'll take a vote. Okay, 10.3B. Jason Green. Yes. Steve Gunther. Yes. Ted Bowman. Yes. Lisa Merson. Yes. Mary Jane Ben Buskirt. No. Greg Walters. Yes. Jim Major. Yeah. Michael McDonough. Yes. Charlotte Melson. Yes. Mark Moore. Yes. Janet Emerson. Yes. Sandra Hartwell. Yes. Eleven to one. Eleven to one. David of circulated. <coughs> when filed, each paper of a petition shall have attached to it a notarized affidavit executed by the circulator thereof, stating that the circular personally circulated the paper, the number of signatures thereon, that all the signatures were affixed in the circulator's presence that the circulator believes them to be genuine signatures of the persons whose names they purport to be, and that each signer had an opportunity before signing to read the full text of the ordinance proposed or sought to be reconsidered. A petition circulator need not be a member of the petitioner's committee, but shall be a qualified voter. D, time for filing position, time for filling petitions. Should that be filing? Nice sketch. One, initiative. An initiative petition shall be filed within 90 calendar days of the issuance of the appropriate petition forms to the petitioner's committee. Two, I'm sorry. I just said it should be filing. What is this time for? Yes. Two, referendum. A referendum petition shall be filed within 45 calendar days after adoption by the council of the ordinance sought to be reconsidered. And three, recall. A recall petition shall be filed within 60 calendar days of the issuance of the appropriate petition forms to the petitioner's committee. And two, should it be council? No. Board of Alderman. It should be Board of Alderman. Okay. Yeah, by the Board of Alderman. Gosh. It is filing. Yeah. I yep, I got to, it. Uh, to accept it with the, uh, with the changes for filling, for filing, and Board of Alderman. Uh, yeah. I might be wrong, so here on screen where it says executed by the circulator there of uh, stating that the circular personally circulated the paper shouldn't that still be circulator that circular doesn't sound right oh you're right with that correction as well 
What are we doing? Yeah. Uh, on the second line of C, the word circular is a typo. It should be circulator. <coughs> yeah. Did I already have that? No, you didn't. It's this one here in, in the right. Yeah. Personally. Oh. And I copied that wrong. I apologize. Okay. <laughs> we're just going to pretend that Ted seconded that. We're good. Yeah. And Jim seconded it. Or Ted. Or Jim. Whatever. Yes, we should pretend it. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Whatever name, insert name here, it's good. All right. Yes, I, I got it. Okay. All right, we have a motion and a second, and you're doing For both. C and D. Right? C and D. All right, Jim Major. Yeah. Lisa Emerson, yes. Charlotte Melson. Yes. Steve Gunther. Yes. Mary Jane Van Buskirk. No. Um, Susan. Janet Emerson. Yes. Ted Bowman. Yes. Jason Green. Yes. Sandra Hartwell. Yes. Greg uh, Walters. Yes. Mike McDonough. Yes. Mark Moore. Yes. 11 to 1. 10.4. Procedure after filing. A. Certificate of City Clerk Amendment. Within 30 calendar days after the petition is filed, the City Clerk shall complete a certificate as to its sufficiency, specifying if it is insufficient that particulars wherein it is defective and shall promptly send a copy of the certificate to the petitioner's committee by United States certified mail return receipt requested. A petition certified insufficient for lack of the required number of valid signatures may be amended once if the petitioner's committee files a notice of intention to amend it with the city clerk within two business days after receiving the copy of the city clerk certificate and files a supplement to the petition within 10 <coughs> business days after receiving the copy of such certificate. Such supplement to the petition shall comply with the requirements of subsections B and C of Articles 11, Section 11.3, Petitions, and within five business days after it is filed. The city clerk shall complete a certificate as to the sufficiency of the petition as amended and promptly send a copy of such certificate to the petitioner's committee by United States certified mail return receipt requested, as in the case of the original petition. If the petition or amended petition is certified insufficient and the petitioner's committee does not elect to amend or request Board of Aldermen review under subsection B of this section within the time required, the city clerk shall promptly present the city clerk certificate to the Board of Aldermen, and the certificate then shall be a final determination as to the sufficiency of the petition. Tell me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you, you ought to have to review this with like seven or eight of these. Oh, sure sure that, anyway, um, just a couple of things. The 30 days, uh, the MML suggested 20 uh, on the opening sentence, but it seemed very consistent that everybody else had 30. Um, the two, the 10 and the five were very consistent with all the other ones. Um, article 11 really should be article 10, which is the one we're reading now. And section 11.3 should be 10.3. And then um, the MML suggested, um, and that's why I, I included a section B, under the, I think it was the last sentence, it's where it says, if a petition or amended petition is certified insuff insignif or insufficient and the petitioner's committee does not elect to amend, or uh, what the MML puts in, our request Board of Aldermen review under subsection B of this section. There was a lot of charters, like Lee Summit, Raymore, and Belton, that did not have that suggestion in, which wasn't given power to the Board of Aldermen to review that. And so that goes back down to the uh, item right below it, Section B, Board of Aldermen review. That's what that relates to. So if you strike that out, which uh, the MML suggests having it in there, if we strike that out, we wouldn't have a Section B there. And court review and new petition would be B. So it's whether or not we want to put that power or that review process uh, with the Board of Aldermen also. So. Why would they be re <clears throat> reviewing it? 
just to make sure that the city clerk was doing her. I have a, I have a question. Sure. Um, I noticed that the city clerk, we go from the current numerical days of requirements for the petitioners, but when you get to the city clerk, it becomes adjectives and adverbs. For instance, if it is insufficient for particulars wherein it is defective and shall promptly send a copy of the certificate to the petitioner's commission by United States certified mail return receipt requested. I think we probably ought to put a timeline in there as well. Right. Rather than just saying promptly because I don't know what that means. Uh, okay. The other thing is, the part about uh, send a copy of the certificate to the petitioner's committee by United States certified mail return receipt requested, that's fine and good if you want to do that, but I don't think that that should, or that should keep the city clerk from handing one to somebody, a receipt. Because I, can, I just have this imagination that says, can I have a receipt for that? No, I'll send it to you by it via certified mail. And in fact, I've had situations like that at the city hall, you know, where uh, you know, so like, can I know how many people have signed up for to be on the charter commission? <coughs> no. I'll put it out in a timely manner or something like that. And, and it's not, you know, I mean, we, we need to put those safeguards in because you can see how easily they can be and have been abused. I, 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 I think, I don't think you can get the... I don't think they're talking about a receipt for having handed the petition. No, I'm saying they're wait. talking about her certificate. I know, but, but it, I understand. It is insufficient, particulars where it is in defect, in, in defect, it is defective and shall promptly send it a copy. It's promptly 10 days. Oh, no, I understand what you're saying. I, I thought you were trying to say that she could, that, that the city clerk could hand one over the counter. And I don't think they could do no, that. No, I'm, I'm saying that, that if, 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 they, if they're aware of it, then if somebody calls and says, is this, is this the case? Is this insufficient or is it defective? And they say, I'll, I'll mail it to you. Which you, is fine, they can mail it to you, but they can also tell you. Do you suggest five days, 10 days, what? I don't know. Okay. Perhaps it's a question that should be asked the city clerk. I don't know how long it takes them to do their due diligence. Okay. You know, if you come back with that, that would be a good question to find out. Okay. Because we've got the same thing down below. Well, I'm, I'm just, again, copying other charters here in, uh, in the MML suggestion, and that might be why they put the word promptly in there. We'll make them better. <laughs> yeah, I know, but uh, well, at I, some I point in time. You can see the cracks here. I mean. All right, but I mean, are you going to limit it to a certain number of days, and what if it's over a certain break, you know, Christmas, the New Year's, or something like that. Exactly. You can hold them the same, to the same time, or is business it just... Business days. Yeah, yeah. Business yeah. days. I mean, it's not right. Somebody might be, they, let's say you're short on petitions by 100 names, and you have a holiday period up where you're going to see a whole bunch of people darn couldn't get the letter to you in time because the holiday was there, even though they knew. That's my point. Okay. It could make a difference. And that is a good point. So, but if you're wanting to put this on the April ballot, it'll need to be done by January. Mm -hmm. by January right? So give us an idea, Greg. I mean, replace promptly with so many days. Well, I think I think we should go to the city clerk and then ask for she advice. What her what her idea of yeah. promptly is? Yeah. Isn't the city you're gonna leave that up to her. Citizen requests something from the city. Of all people, he's leaving city. that up to her. Oh. I was gonna say. Time on that. Greg, you haven't left anything up to the city clerk through this whole process. Right. Good reason. But anyway. <laughs> but I'm, saying, I'm just saying, I mean, I, I don't think we can do that. I think we can just put it, you know, what, what 10 you, business days yeah. or something. That's two weeks. Okay. After the petition is filed, the city clerk shall complete the certificate as to its sufficiency. 10 days is too long. Specifying if it is insufficient, the particulars where it is defective, and shall promptly there. send a copy of the certificate. Okay, let's see. This is for... Is, is this um, checking signatures for validity? This is checking yeah. signatures for validity. And you've got to wait through a thousand of them. Yeah, ten days is... I don't know, guys. Not going to be done in five. Mm -hmm. now, I don't think prompt is the proper word there. Yeah, and 30 is way too long, names. so... Or what, how many names we got to get on petition? Four Lots. Names. Up to 5,000. Oh, the, yeah, the Between one and 5,000. Depends on... Yeah, it depends on the case. Yeah. But she doesn't... Is she verifying that each signature is a right town? 
uh, registered voter. voter. That or goes to Jackson, 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 County. Jackson County. Yeah. yeah. County this is only counting. You got to have a hundred people on, right. and they got eighty-five. Oh, okay. Well, okay, that's... you're deficient. Now it has to go back to you. Da 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 da. Because that's what happened. They had to go to Jackson County. Sufficiency. You can do it within a number of hours. He has to say sufficiency. So well, yeah, five but days. you're also we're caught, you're relying on Jackson three County Election Board I mean, when they get back with you. Would be doing. sufficient because all you're doing. Does is three days sound good then? I think you can get that done in. I mean, as as long as you get the letter back and the whatever. So the problem is, you guys. Okay. I, I, really, issue, I really think, in all fairness to the city clerk, that we have to ask them. Also, do we have an assistant city clerk up in City Hall? No. Not currently. Okay, because if we do not, and your city clerk's on vacation or ill, we've already um, covered that. Yeah, but it's yeah. in it's in the charter. We've covered, we've covered that. assistant city. Clerk. Then we do that. One. Then we will. We don't. Have one. We will that have one. We question. don't currently yeah. have one. Okay. Well, someone will be deemed that. Yeah. Can Somebody. we just vote on a number tonight and then have but her five. put five? I make a motion five. So wait, we're, we're trying to, are we trying to change? Five business days or five business days? Five business days. So we're trying to add And then we'll just highlight it to see if she doesn't Instead like it. Instead of signatures, want to she's add not, days. She's just looking at a thing and matching. I mean, they're already numbered for you. Yeah. So she's so just looking sure and go, yes, that's that enough. Yes, that's enough. And she goes to the pages like that. Well, I know it shouldn't take five days. No. No. Correct. It's too long. Right. Well, Greg, she has other she has business. You thought it was too much, now it's too much. Anything that, that, that she has other work to do. do. It's 72 hours. That's for Freedom of Information Act. I don't care. Well, that's, that's not anything the citizens have. Some Can we take a poll? That, that, that may be a good idea, uh, though. That check, Sandy has. Make sure there's not duplicate I mean, signatures. So Freedom Information She's Act. She's not I mean, this, verifying the signatures. It just says why, why not based not the sufficient signatures, number of signatures. Just not duplicate signatures. I don't know, I'm just throwing suggestions right. now. But well, that's not really what she did. Um, but five Let's business see. days. Okay, here's the, okay. If the petitioners committee files a notice of intention Whatever. to amend it with the city clerk with two business days after receiving a copy of the city clerk certificate, files a supplement within. Uh, I don't understand the two business days requirement there. They have two days after they receive the. Uh, the notice from the city. So the city clerk gets five days to, to say you're insufficient and you get two days to determine whether or not. To try to get your other, get your other signatures. So you think it's unbalanced? A little. So three and three? With three and well, three. Well, but, but they, no, the notion they're, only, they're only acknowledging the two business days having received it, but they give them 10 additional days. Oh, right, okay. They get 10 days to, to correct it. To correct, correct it, right. Yeah. Okay. But two days, they have to, within two days, they have to make a decision to save it. Right. right. Yeah. So, I mean, that's not that call. difficult either. It's not that hard. It's one phone call, not a bunch well, of signatures. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. So the city clerk gets five days to determine if there's enough signatures on the, on the pieces of paper. Right? Because she has other work to do. Right. I understand that. I understand she's the busiest city clerk in the world. Okay? So we got five days to do that. And then when after that, you send it to somebody who's doing this part-time, and they get two days to determine whether or not they're going to continue. But they're the ones that started it. Right. So they ought to know, okay, uh, yeah. well, that's They that's have to know whether lesson. those were legitimate. Well, well, why don't you <laughs> teach them a lesson? Well, that's what we're doing. No, it isn't, because <laughs> you started if, I come up, if I come up with a petition and I turn it in, okay, A, so and I didn't count, poll, I'm guessing and then five B, days. they counted and if, it, and we'll I missed it, it last turn, so how's that? So and it's so important to me, I'll go find you. In every All I have to do is call them. I don't disagree that, you know, they would try to get away with something. you ought to have what you have. For instance. Okay. All right. All right. Exactly. Enough discussion. All right. All right. Enough discussion. We're, we're, we're trying to get to a point where we can get this read. If we replace promptly with within five business days, send a copy. How many would be in favor of that within five? I don't know. Okay. All right. So replace promptly within with the words within five business days. Was there a motion on that? My mother made a motion. So I didn't hear if anybody first. Well, no, there is no motion on the floor now. Yeah. Well, okay. There was never a motion. Well, my mother did a motion, but nobody seconded. Oh, okay. I didn't hear a second. I don't know if there was. I didn't second. I didn't. Well, we were just checking to see. Ted. No. Know what sufficiency means, we're assuming that it does not include sending it to the county. So, highlight it. I mean, I don't know 
City clerk has to wait for the county to tell her that they're all registered voters. Then no, I understand you that. Can't put a deadline on her. Well, I mean, well, like that's why I originally that. it said promptly. I mean, how, I mean, how do well, you? I mean, I, I'm sorry, but well, all to continue the discussion and the point that Greg brought up, I think that we, I mean, just knowing what sufficiency means is all I'm asking. Actually, it's only insufficient if you read this carefully. We only talk about this if it's insufficient. We don't say if it's sufficient whether or not we even identify it and say so. So more to ask this Teresa about this, this section. section. We can come back to it if Teresa has a different, you know, difficulty with any of it. If we ought to. But we should get through it at some point. Well, we need to clarify some things first. Okay. Well, we can. I mean, move to postpone to the next meeting. I would because we don't even well, know. Well, do that. Huh? <laughs> do that. Okay, ask for the rules. Ask for the raise hands or whatever we call it now. Well, no. no I mean, you, gonna move you can make a motion or? right now to I amend. I can make a motion, but if we're wanting to do what you want to do, we just raise our hands. He was just taking no, a poll. No, I was just taking a poll. Yeah. This is not enough. Because we didn't have. I make a motion. We carry this item, this section over. To so the next record. meeting. Until we get the answer back. To the next. To the, we have to have a so to the next meeting, and then we can. Motion to postpone again if we don't get it, but we have to have a particular time, so. Okay. And who seconded? Thank you. Was there a second? Yeah, Mark. Let's take a vote. <coughs> this is uh, Janet Emerson. Oops, Greg. Greg Walters. Yes. Jim Azure. Pass. Uh, Ted Bowman. Yes. Mark Moore. Yes. Charlotte Melson. Yes. Mary Jane Van Busker. Yes. Steve Gunther. No. Michael McDonough. Yes. Lisa Emerson. No. Jason Green. No. Sandra Hartwell. No. Six four. Well, we had a couple no. pass. Oh, I'm sorry, Jim Azure. What six four? <coughs> Did you Seven. say no? Oh, okay, thanks. Six five. <coughs> six five and majority takes seven. No, that doesn't work that way. No, it's this, this is a procedural matter. Six five means that you get it over. <coughs> it's just postponed, okay. so we move on to ten point four right. B or whatever. So, in order to do B, we have to decide whether or not we're going to include so that one line. We can just skip it and go to the next one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we, I mean, I think we can I'll make a decision. I'll skip it if you want that. Well, I'd rather not skip it if we don't have to. Precisely. I mean, so if everybody would take. I don't think Rick's question about the Okay. No, I mean. I don't understand. What's the purpose of the board of aldermen? To approve or disapprove it? Okay. If the petition has been certified insufficient and the petitioner's committee does not file notice of intention to amend it, or if an amended petition has been certified insufficient, the committee may within two days after receiving a copy of such certificate, <coughs> file a request that it be reviewed by the Board of Aldermen. The Board of Aldermen shall review the certificate at its next meeting following the filing of such request and approve or disapprove it. And the Board of Aldermen's determination then shall be a final determination as to the sufficiency of the petition. Does that mean the Board of Aldermen can waive the rules for the number of signatures required? No, if it's insufficient. It's insufficient. It's insufficient. But it's just can they oversight. Do that on their own yeah, recall? it's all this. Just oversight. Technically, yeah, but can yeah. they do that on their own recall? But what the thing yeah. is, wouldn't the oversight come from the Jackson County Election Board as opposed to the Board of Aldermen? I mean, that's the thing. If, if the Board of Aldermen's role in this review is to, if we're trying to look at the certificate, isn't that for the city clerk and for the Jackson County Election Board to decide? Well, and I put this in here because it was in the MML. I'll tell you that Lee Summit, Raymore, Belton, 
they do not have it included in theirs. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm just mentioning that for me personally, I'm, I'm not in favor of this. I, I, I'm, I'm only I only put it out there for everybody to see whatever. No, no, no. Motion that we do not. Well, we don't have to make a motion. We Second. Can. Okay, All right, so we have to go to a vote now. Okay, so we can actually strike that part of out of A to our request board of Alderman review. And that was line. Yeah, yeah, but well, you have it also up here. It's in A. That you have to strike that out. Uh, how much of the sentence are we oh, gotcha. striking from A? Oh, you see the petition I'm in the petition. Yeah, it's yeah. it's not it's like to amend within the required time. It's just all of okay. that. You got to leave within the required okay, it is time. Okay, yeah. There you go. Request board of Alderman review. Okay. You strike out our request board of Alderman review under subsection B of this section. You we would strike yeah. that out. And then we would get rid of all of B, and court review new petition actually becomes B. So we motion to skip 10.4B, Ted? We're, we eliminated it. Eliminated. Ted? Okay. Yeah. Who seconded? I did. Okay. So we don't even have to vote on it, do we? Michael? Well, you yeah, mentioned the motion. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You're the one who's claiming he seconded. I thought you seconded it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. That's why we quit at nine. Just say no. <laughs> <laughs> if they say something, right. you say no. All right, <laughs> skipping. Mark Moore. But thank you, Janet. Skipping. 10.4. We're skipping B. Yes. 10.4 right. B. We're, We're eliminating yes. it, yeah. Yes. Charlotte Melson. Yes. Jason Green. Yes. Greg Walters. Yes. Mary Jane Van Buskirk. Yes. Ted Bowman. Yes. Janet Emerson. Yes. Jim Azure. Yes. Michael McDonough. Yes. Lisa Emerson. Yes. Sandra Hartwell. Yes. Steve Gunther. Yes. A consensus. 12 0. See the report of the new petition. A final determination as to the sufficiency of a petition shall be subject to court review. A final determination of, insufficient, of insufficiency, even if sustained upon court review, shall not prejudice the filing of a new petition for the same purpose. Motion to accept. Second. But you did classify no, that as B, right, not C? Yes, okay. he did. Okay. It was 10.4 C, correct? Yes, it now was C. C. Now it's B. And was that? Ted, motion to approve. And it's second it's subject to court review, is that right town municipal court review, yeah. Jackson no. County court It'll review? Be court. Yes, sir. Yeah. Should yeah. that be clarified? No, it just. That's it's the, the only one. That yeah, the, the only one will take it, yeah. Okay. All in favor? Steve Gunn, are we just having discussion still? Or Is there any other discussion <coughs> that needs to be? Okay. okay. Steve Gunther. Yes. Sandra Hartwell. Yes. Lisa Emerson. Yes. Greg Walters. Yes. Michael McDonough. Yes. Jim Asia. Yes. Ted Bowman. Yes. Charlotte Melson. Yes. Jason Green. Yes. Mary Jane Van Buskirk. Yes. Janet Emerson. Yes. Mark Moore. Yes. And who made the motion? Jim, uh, Ted. 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 All right. Let's finish up with 10 section 10.5. 10.5 referendum petition suspension of effective ordinance. When a referendum petition is filed with the city clerk, the ordinance sought to be reconsidered shall be suspended from taking effect. Such suspension shall terminate when A, there is a final determination of insufficiency of the petition, or B, the petitioner's committee withdraws the petition, or C, the Board of Aldermen repeals the ordinance, or D, the election results sustaining the ordinance have been certified by the election authorities. I can keep going. Well, that's 10.5. I mean, if we can get a motion to approve and... But this, you know, I, I just want to point out that this goes back to, like, say the city council does something Say they increase the franchise tax, franchise fees up to 10% on all utilities across the board. And people pass referendums saying, no, we don't want this. This goes back to the discussion about taxes, fees, and licenses. Because should you have to replace a license or a tax or a fee that wasn't in existence, but you're petitioning against it? You lost me. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's the chicken before the egg type of thing. It's, it, I'm just saying that it, it, uh, it just made me go back to the earlier discussion we had about those sections that may have prohibitions that the city that uh, petitioners cannot use, cannot do. And one of them had to do with taxation. Okay. Because most taxes do not go So you're saying this supports what your argument was? Somewhat. Okay. All right. Is there a motion to approve? I make a motion. Thank you, Janet. Approve. Any second? Okay. All right. No? I just had. So. So the referendum was dealing with the ordinance, correct? Right. Okay. One passed by the city council. Okay, and so what they're doing is they want it changed. This is how we stop it. Right. From going through. Right. Actually, actually so it either they an election to take it to a vote of the people. If it doesn't really stop. If the petition is upheld, yeah. Yeah. So it, it would it would put it in the it'd be, it would take it out of the city councils or the board of aldermen's control and put it into a direct vote of the people. But uh, but if the alderman repeals it, then it is taken. Well, then the alderman has said, "We see the writing on the wall. We're going to save right. the trouble right. of the election," and they probably would, since there's going to be ten thousand signatures staring at the face. Right? There was a lot of signatures. Anyway. It's another way to influence government with teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Even even one that fell short would make me consider it if I were on the board. Like yeah, raise mm -hmm. my brow. Mm -hmm. All right. We have a motion, a second. Any other discussion? We'll take a vote. Jason Green. Yes. Mark Moore. Yes. Mary Jane Van Buskirk. Yes. Ted Bowman. Yes. Greg Walters. Yes. Lisa Emerson. Yes. Janet Emerson. Yes. Sandra Hartwell. Yes. Charlotte Melson. No. Michael McDonough. Yes. Jim Major. Yes. Steve Gunther. Yes. Mary Jane Van Buskirk. Yes. <coughs> Motion does carry ten to two. If you want, I mean, it's up to you. We got three minutes. Yeah. I, I think we uh, <laughs> kill it. Unless you're, you're Ted, Ted's me. telling jokes. Here. He's telling jokes is what he's doing. <laughs> All right. Uh, just a reminder uh, that our next meeting is next Monday at City Hall at 6:30. Okay. At which time somebody is going to have talk to the city clerk? I will, I've already made a note. I will talk to the city clerk before then and try to get answers to our questions on 10.4. All right. Thank goodness we didn't need a vote for that. But then Greg would be like, we haven't had a vote for that. We're leaving anyway. Okay, so all of 10.1. I'll try to get this done tonight. Thank you. Second. You were just going to leave. All approved. <laughs>